All right, Shalom, all Israel, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Rokabidash, uh, his glorious name, which is the Most High, praise to his son, okay, which is our mediator, um, unto God himself. Uh, then we're honest to the GMS who taught us this truth, the men that's been chosen to teach us. Salutation and peace unto you, I came out there that's risking your freedom and your life to push this word. So this is another quick update about Mexico uh, about the uh, hurricane, Hurricane um, Michael, okay, which was reported to be the third largest or deadliest hurricane to hit America's coastline, okay. So, as you can see, the king himself, Yahweh Shimei Yahusha, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is making war with America. Okay, and now it's starting to really starting to ju judge this place, it's starting to really make war, it's starting to really bring desolation and destruction and great mournings and pains to people's lives. Okay, taking away everything. Mind you, these are places where we serve the slaves. Okay, these homes that were built in this picture, what you see here, was places we uh, we built up physical hard bondage as slaves okay so heaven the father is justified in all his acts and all his evils that he's bringing upon the earth so i want to get uh scripture and i brought this out in my previous video this is um jeremiah 15 verse 50 verse 13 because of the wrath of the lord it should not be inhabited okay so what's not going to be a habitat? Ultimately, that's the land of America. But as you can see, these places are not inhabited. Why? Because it's the wrath of God. But it shall be wholly desolate. Is this not wholly desolate? Look at it. You think people can live here? It's all type of debris, wood chip, water, insect, bacteria, you name it. All this comes from the devastation of a hurricane. It's a breeding ground for diseases and famine. Everyone that go by Babylon shall be astonished and his at all her plagues, okay? And that's exactly what's going on, man. People are seeing the plagues that's starting to hit America, whether it be the Dow Jones dropping, um, stock market dropping 800, 800 points, or whether it be Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Michael, and uh, earthquakes, okay, these are the things that's befallen America, aka Babylon in the scriptures. So, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. Is um, from all.com, which is Alabama, Alabama.com, Mexico Beach, Florida, wiped out by apocalyptic hurricane. Now, what do they mean, apoc apocalyptic? meaning God's judgment. The small Gulf Coast community of Mexico Beach was known as a slice of old Florida. Now it lies in splinters. Yeah, it is. Hit head on by Hurricane Michael, homes in this town of about 1190 or 1,190 people were scattered, were shattered and ripped from their foundations. Boats were tossed like toys. The streets closest to the water looked as if a bomb had gone off. And that's what the Lord said when he said, It should hit all our plagues. The wrath of the Lord it should not be inhabited, but wholly desolate, completely destroyed. Okay? <laughs> so it says, <laughs> The streets closest to the waters looked as if a bomb had gone off. Now, anytime a bomb goes off, you know. The aftermath ain't going to be pretty. Whatever was there is not going to be there anymore. That's what the Lord just did, okay? What the nine-foot storm surge didn't destroy, 155 miles per hour. You see? Winds finished off. So it said whatever the nine-foot storm surge didn't destroy, which it was a flood first. Okay, a flood came in. And then a tornado hit, a hurricane, which is a mixture of water and extreme and um and powerful wind. 
See, because the difference between a hurricane and a tornado, a tornado is dry. It's just strong wind, which is destroying and damaging as hell by itself. Then you have a hurricane, which is a mix, mixture of water and tornado. I mean tornado, strong wind, water and strong wind, okay? So it's double the destruction, okay? And it's hard to repair when everything is wet. It builds mold, mildew, okay, which is toxic to the body, causing cancer, okay? It's just very hard to repair after something's been damaged with water. You got to throw the whole thing away. So after they got flooded in, a nine-foot storm of water, the 155-mile-per-hour winds finished it off. You see? Now imagine you getting hit by a car going 155 miles per hour. That's exactly how I felt when this tornado came through, this hurricane. I'm going to read a little bit more, and then um, I'm going to get the video. It's a lot. I don't want to make it too long. So it says, uh, now rescuers and residents are struggling to get into the ground zero town to assess the damage and search for the hundreds of people believed that have stayed behind because these people are foolish. They were told to evacuate. And they did. So not only do they not listen to the prophets, they don't even listen to their own um, mother men and forecasters. So it says, um, Michelle McPherson and her ex-husband looked for an elderly mother of a friend on Thursday. The woman lived in a small single block house from um, about 150 yards from the Gulf until she would be okay. Her home was reduced to crumbled cinder blocks and pieces of the fort town. Aggie, Aggie, McPherson yelled. The only sound that came back was an uh, echo from the half-demolished building and pounding surf. Do you think her body would be here? Do you think it would have floated away? She asked. So she's thinking, um, her, one of her siblings had died. You see? And it says, as she walked down the street, McPherson pointed out pieces of what had been the woman's house. That's the blade from the sun, man. That's her floor tile. Okay, so the hurricane completely uh, ripped the home to pieces. Yeah, so the hurricane completely ripped this lady's home to pieces, okay? And um, it's that drone footage of Mexico Beach on Thursday morning showed the stunning landscape of this devastation. Few structures were unscathed. John Humphreys, a storm chaser and drone pilot, arrived in Mexico Beach around 5 p.m. Wednesday, a few hours after Michael slammed in the coastline. He had one word to describe what he saw, apocalyptic. Okay? State officials said, 285 people in Mexico Beach have refused to leave ahead of the hurricane despite a mandatory evacuation order. A National Guard team went into the area and found 20 survivors overnight. And more crews are pushing into the area on Thursday. The fate of many other residents was unknown, authorities said. Humphrey resident who evacuated tried to return. The Rev. Eddie Law Fountain Pastor of First Baptist Church in Mexico Beach was one of them. You see, so this pastor tried to return back to Mexico Beach, but he couldn't, you know. And if he's a true pastor, he would tell him what's going on, which is the wrath of the Lord. He described the place as a good family resort time, which ain't nothing good about that damn town. It was a wicked-ass town, I'm pretty sure. That attracted visitors, visitors seeking peace and quiet rather than a spring break like atmosphere of other communities along towards the mouth for the pen. Most of the, now we know anything about spring break, a lot of things go down. You see, a lot of wickedness, a lot of adultery, you see, um, idolatry, you name it, it goes down. It says most of the full time residents, he said, have some connection to the hosp hospitality industry. Some operate vacation home rentals, while others work jobs cleaning and maintaining their homes. Others own or work in restaurants, run out kayaks, or operate charter fishing boats. Will find himself as has a long mowing business. Okay, but all this is, is completely destroyed now. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this video, and um, tell me what you think. 
Look, this is the complete devastation. This is horrible, man. Look at that. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Look, look, look. Very few rooms. I'm almost guaranteed this is made of brick. Everything else, wood and hard plastic, completely destroyed. Mind you, this used to be homes right here. It looks like shredded pieces of paper. You know, people lived there. Not anymore. As you can see, man, it's pretty much, um, you know, completely destroyed. These used to be homes, and they look like shredded paper. You know, it's not there anymore. You know, so with that, I'm just going to close out. You know, until next video, so more.